Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a look at the Target exclusive Funko Pop of Rey in Finn's jacket from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now, this figure comes with a little figure stand, which I'm not hugely fond of. Luckily, it's removable. Right off the bat, one thing I gotta point out is that this figure has a lot of weight towards the back of her head. Not a lot, but compared to other pops, I guess it does. Also, I mean, I've had other Ray Pops that didn't have this problem, but it tends to want to fall back a bit. Um, I think it has something to do with where like the spring is attached inside the head, where it, where it connects at the shoulder. I mean, where it connects at like the neck point, but uh, it's just weird that it tends to want to fall back. It's never been a problem with any other Ray figures, and it's very well footed, so I, I don't get it. Also, the, the head isn't, you know, kind of up where you can see the neck a bit. Like, the head is right there on the uh, shoulders, so you don't really get to see the neck much. Um, but, you know, I love Ray. I'm a huge fan of the character, and I like to collect all the Ray variants that, that Funko makes in pop form. And I thought we were done. They did pretty much every imaginable Ray variant you could conceive of. But she does wear Finn's jacket towards the end of the film at Starkiller Base for a little bit. So we have one more variant. And you know what? I dig it. I think this jacket turned out really cool looking. They did a good job capturing some of the details of the jacket in the sculpt, like that little red section on the uh, in the shoulder there the little shoulder ridge that leads down to the sleeves looks really really good um, the little kind of yellowish side sections there and the little buckle there uh, the gray buckle looks great the little gray section the red paint really well painted the little yellow line the paint on the jacket's fantastic the uh, the, the the sculpt of it's great the wrinkling in the back uh, really happy with how that turned out the rest of the costume looks good it's her regular costume underneath the boots look good I like the sculpt of the boots, a little gray section there, the little wrinkling back there. Skin paint right there, the, the, the shorts kind of bleed onto her leg a bit. Uh, be on the lookout for this in stores. I saw some where the tan paint on the belt was a mess, the skin paint at the top was a mess. And see how there's this little gap here at the jacket where the, the arms plug into the shoulder area? Uh, there were some that looked better than this, where the jacket really looked like a cohesive full jacket. This one's got a little bit of a gap, but it had the best paint job, but be on the lookout for loose arms. Otherwise, though, the, the gray paint, the kind of light light gray paint for her shirt, the, 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 the skin where it kind of meets the sleeves for her fists, all looks really, really good. This body looks great. Now, the head, it's the same head we've seen before, and I think it turned out, well, fine. I mean, I like that previous head, so whatever. Uh, the good sculpt of the hair in the back here, the where the hair all pulls together, the little side sections, there's a little bit of factory kind of glop right there, but there's no glue bleeding out anywhere. Um, the eyeball paint is clean, the eyebrows look good. This is a cool looking pop. As a fan of Ray, did we need this? No, but do I like it? Yeah! I like all Ray pops, bring them on. And this one with her in the jacket, cool little moment in the film, captured in pop. I like exclusives. This was at Target, so if you're out there, happy hunting. Thanks for watching, everybody, and follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all of that crap.